think it's worth it? Start plugging. Hey, uh, is this the second platoon? Part of it. Good. I'm one of the replacements. Where are the rest of them? Oh, uh, they're on their way up in a truck. Hey, uh, where'd you get the bike? Spoils of war. I borrowed it from a sergeant back in Motorpool. Couldn't wait to get up to the front, huh? Yeah, I could do it with a little excitement. You know, I even conned a couple of file clerks to make sure that I got sent to this platoon. Well, all of a sudden, was something special? Yeah, didn't you know we only get shot with silver bullets? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are just overwhelming me with your wit. I got myself sent here because of a buddy of mine. Maybe you know him. Wild Man Kirby. <laughs> Wild Man Kirby? <laughs> you heard of him, huh? Yeah, he's in the squad. You're kidding. This is Kirby's squad? That's right. Hey, where is he? He's not looking for a chicken with more meat and less feathers. Hey, that's great. Just great, boy. I can't wait to see Wild Man Kirby's face when he walks up. <laughs> well, you won't have to wait very long. <laughs> hey, you guys, will you look at this brain? <laughs> Eddie. Hey, wild man! <laughs> Lay it on, buddy. Man, it's great to see you. Just great. You look terrific. Yeah. Yes, yeah, same here, Eddie. Uh, did you m meet these guys here? Uh, Are the chicken pluckers? Well, not by name. This is uh, Little John, and uh, and it's Doc. Cage over there chasing chicken. <laughs> and uh, this is Sergeant Saunders. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice little squad you got here, wild man. Now, the first thing I got to do is find your platoon leader and get myself into the group. Well, the lieutenant makes all the assignments after all the replacements have arrived. So I give you a break. I'm here first. Come on, wild man. Let's go let your shave tail know Eddie Kane's available, huh? I, I don't know, Eddie. Uh... Oh, it's okay, uh, wild man. Go on, tell Lieutenant your friend's available. Hey, hey, you with the chicken. Why don't you dig out the green pepper? I'll show you how to make some great pets at there, yeah? Come on, wild man, let's go. He's on our side? Oh, I guess he's just happy he found his buddy. Well, I don't think his buddy was too happy about seeing him. Combat. Starring Rick Jason. Guest star, Frankie Avalon. Listen, all the guys on the street, I wrote them I was being sent up here, they went nuts. Say hello to Wild Man Kirby, they said, and my mom. You know, my mind nearly broke a pension by a fruitcake. Yeah, yeah, I got about six pounds of it in my barracks bag. I'll have to remember to write her a letter. Hey, would you do that? That would really give her a kick. Well, look, uh, you know what she thinks of you. I mean, after all, after Tony was killed, uh, she and I'd have been up a creek if you hadn't stepped in and helped out like you did. Uh, Tony was my friend. Yeah, Tony was the greatest. The two of you together were the greatest. Hey, hey, do you remember how you used to get miffed at me? You know, because I was always tagging along every time you and Eddie were going out for a little action, huh? I remember you're something of a pain. I remember that much. So push me now while I got my growth, huh? No contest. Hey, listen. It could be just like it used to be with you and Tony. Only now, it'll be you and me. Look, I think I ought to tell you one thing. Uh, this ain't like the street, you know? I'm not going to be too much insurance for you up here. Listen. I figure if my brother died saving your life, you must be worth something in a pinch. Thank you. 
Let's go see. Let's see what platoon stands up. All right, sir. Uh, Lieutenant, uh, this is a friend of mine. Sir? Private Eddie Kane reporting. A reporting for what, Private? Assignment to a squad, sir. Eddie, uh, I mean, uh, Private Kane's one of the new replacements, Lieutenant. Where are the others? Well, they haven't arrived yet, sir. I caught an early ride. I was hoping to be in your platoon. Well, to what do I owe this great enthusiasm? Private Kirby here has been telling me all about you. He's proud, sir. Very, very proud. Well, Kirby, you overwhelm me with your great esteem for the platoon. Well, I, uh... uh you two are old friends? Yes, sir. And I'd like to be in his squad. Did you speak to Sergeant Saunders? Sarge said to come see you, Lieutenant. Well, if it's Sergeant Saunders' squad you want, then uh, Sergeant Saunders' squad it is. Welcome to the family. Thank you, sir. How'd you like that spit and polish need, huh? Yeah, you really learned the Army way, didn't you? The Army way? Ooh, come on, wild man. That's, that's only survival. Are you kidding? I get a little sick and lose, get in my hair, I go off my nut. The lieutenant's a good guy. I don't think Oh, come on. He's him. another tin soldier. So I play his game. Yes, sir. No, sir. He's not a bad guy. You shouldn't play wild games. Wild man, what are you giving me? This is old lady you're talking to. Since when did you start shaking at the voice of authority? I'm not shaking. Oh, glad to hear it, wild man. I mean, you and me lifted up a little together back home, too, remember? Maybe not as much as you and Tony, but uh, we balled around some now, didn't we? Come on, we'll tell the guys you're in the group. Dressed, huh? Mmm, that smells great. Did you inform the lieutenant that you were joining the squad? Inform him? Man, where you been? You don't inform an officer. He informs you. It's the custom. Right? Right. Well, sure. And the lieutenant informed me that I was now part of Kirby's squad. Oh, that chicken smells great. You gotta get yourself one. I saw an old hen running toward Paris about an hour ago. You got longer legs than me. Hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't we, uh, play a little roast chicken poker, huh? I'll give you odds. Ten bucks against your share of the bird. Feel them out, Big Mouth. High card? High card. Cut? Yeah.
wild man, why don't you teach your friend some campfire manners? Big man with head and clouds speaks with sour grapes in mouth. Look, if you're looking for somebody to lean on me, don't look to wild man. We go back a long way together. Tell him about you and Tony. That's not important. Come on, wild man, tell him. Tell him about it. Well, uh, Eddie's brother Tony and me, uh, we were pals. He saved my life once. And Tony died doing it. As you were. If we'd known you were coming, sir, we would have saved you some chicken. No, oh, thanks. I've eaten. Saunders, I got a job for you. What is it, Lieutenant? Battalion thinks the Germans may be throwing in field artillery to slow our advance. Captain Jappel wants us to check out our sector before we move ahead. How soon? Now. Right, Lieutenant. All right, you heard it. Let's go. Wild man. Yeah. A little action, huh? Yeah, just a recon patrol. Still action. Like old times for you, huh? Like you and Tony. Yeah, just like me and Tony.
Folgen Sie mir. Schön, Herr Führer, folgen Sie mir hier runter. What do we do? Kirby, you and little John come with me. The rest of you stay here. You watch the one that's pulling off. Mark his position on your map. If we're not back in half an hour, you head for home. I want to stay with Kirby. Uh, I'd like it that way too, Sarge. I could be responsible for him. In this outfit, every man's responsible for himself. You know that, Kirby. Sarge has only been in combat one time. Now you listen to me. I don't know what happened back in the States between you and his brother, but it doesn't count out here. Sarge just disappoints. Okay, Kirby, but if you ever box me in again like this, I'll throw the book at you. Little John, you stay here. Kane, you're on Kirby and me. Any questions? did a wild man. He got me with you. Still know how to operate. It's like back on the street, huh? Fall back a little, will you? I gotta talk to Sarge. Anything you say, wild man. Sarge would just keep parallel road, huh? Fall on their tracks? Yeah, till they settle in somewhere. Could be 20 miles. Could be. I think Eddie's gonna be okay, Sarge. It's just he's a little rough around the edges yet. Why do you keep apologizing for him? I'm not apologizing. Just he needs a friend, that's all. And you're it, whether you like it or not, huh? Well, I knew the family. His ma was good to me. Well, she had it pretty rough after his brother Tony got killed. How did it happen? You see, Tony and me got in a beef one night, and a bunch of punks cornered us in the alley. Somebody pulled a knife, and when we had to fight our way out, Tony didn't make it. And you wouldn't have made it without Tony, huh? Kid says his brother Tony gave his life for you. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's... that's what happened. Quite a debt. Don't let the interest get too high. closer and get a better look. What for? I can't find that command car. Kirby, you and me move in from different angles and try to find it. You stay here and give us cover. We'll be back in five minutes. Why can't I go? I don't want to have any arguments. That's it. I have seven after three. Back here, 12 minutes after. Eddie, you got that? Yeah, I got you, wild man. Five minutes.
You can't help him. Besides, you can't just leave him out there. Now pull back. Go, let go. Hold on! What's happening with that gun over there? Nothing much. They're dug in and waiting. We got a position on the map. Hey, where's Kane? He didn't make it. Well, don't write him off yet, Sarge. We don't know if he's dead. We don't even know if he's been captured. He could be lying out there right now for all we know. Kirby, there were a dozen crowds coming after him and more on the way. We shouldn't have pulled out and left him. If we didn't pull out, we'd be right where he is now and you know it. All right, let's get back to Lieutenant Hanley. I'm going to report. Let's go.
Kirby. He was right in front of me. He must have gone back after Kane. What are we going to do, Sarge? He's going to get himself killed over that kid. I said, what are we going to do? You're going home. Get these gun positions, Lieutenant Hanley. Sarge, if you're going after Kirby, we're going too. I told you you're going home. Now move out. All three of you. I don't want to move it. too easy to kill. Hey, look at this. Look at this Kraut Medikit. So? It's a Kraut Medikit. Well, this is the area where Eddie went in the woods, Sarge. They must have found him and bandaged him and took him back to their camp to interrogate him. What? They might be doing it now. Sarge is alive. Now we gotta help him. Sarge, we gotta help him. All right, Kirby. Wait till it gets dark.
Stop. Where's the SARS? Come on, let's go. Let's I go don't see the SARS. You probably get out the other side. Come on, let's go. Stay down. Kirby, stay down! I just trapped in that truck. We gotta get him out of there. You're crazy. You can't. There's no way. Those crowds will kill us. Look, you take the BAR. I'll get him off. No. Come on, take the BAR and give me cover. No, I won't do it. Give me cover! You can't get him out. You can't get him out. The odds are 101 against you. Look, I'm not leaving the Sarge out there to die. We gotta think of ourselves. Are you lousy? You owe it to me, Kirby. We still got a chance if we pull back now. You owe it to me to get me out of here. I owe you nothing. I owe the Sarge. You owe me. You got a debt. You remember, my brother died saving your life. You owe me. I owe you nothing, you hear? Because you're a punk. Just like your brother was a punk. You're just as stupid and gutless as he was. What do you mean? Why do you say a thing like that? When you showed up here today, I figured you knew I lied to you about Tony. What do you mean you lied about Tony? Your brother was no good. You hear that? He was a bum. He was a cheater, liar, and a coward. And I'll tell you something else, too. He didn't save my life. He just crossed too many guys, and they finally caught up to him. He was dead when I found him in that alley. No, you're a liar! Tell me you're lying. No. Now, the only time I lied was to save you and your mother some grief by making him look like a hero. Well, he wasn't. He was a no-good punk, just like you. <laughs> you're just telling him this. You're just telling him this because you want to get even. You want me to help you? What I need help from you for? I'm telling you because I'm sick of carrying around my guts, that's all. And as loud as he was, I figure I'm a little to blame, too, for going along with him. And I kept going along with you. Tony told me you were his friend. Yeah? Well, I was probably his worst enemy. You want to know why? Because I knew exactly what he was. Just kept on making excuses so your mother wouldn't know the truth. Then when you showed up here today, I started all over again making excuses for you. Not anymore. I'm not letting the Sarge die for you.
gehe da rüber. Ich gehe da Granada. Granada. I guess I'll be out of it a few weeks. Then it looks like they'll be sending me back up again. Well, you take care of yourself, okay? I'll take care of myself. We're getting ready to move out. I suppose you'll be catching up with us later. Yeah, who knows? Well, take care. Hey. So long, Wildman. 